Hello again, boys and girls. Welcome to Oak Tree Story Time. It's me, Lia. Let me tell you a tale of Alfonso the goat, who was terribly proud of his lovely new coat. Goat's Coat by Tom Percival and Christine Pym. Get yourself comfortable and let's start. Let me tell you a tale of Alfonso the goat, who was terribly proud of his lovely new coat. It had bright shiny buttons all made out of glass and a color, the color of freshly cut grass. People turned to admire as Alfonso walked by. What a marvelous coat, he heard someone sigh. Alfonso was happy. He pranced and he skipped. Then he heard a sad noise croaking out of a ditch. He peered down and found a sad family of frogs whose home had once been a mossy old log. But the log was no more. It had rotted away, and the frogs from the log now had nowhere to stay. The frogs were distraught. Please help us, they cried. Help! And Alfonso felt sorry for them, so he tried. He unpicked some stitches from his brand new coat and, using the fabric, helped make them a boat. The frogs were delighted. He just made their day. Oh, thank you, they croaked as they all sailed away. Alfonso's new coat didn't look quite so smart, but he felt a warm glow in the depths of his heart. He clipped on and on till he came to a shed. The sound from within filled Alfonso with dread. What could possibly make such a sad sound as that? Alfonso peered in, then he saw it. A cat! The cat was trembling and terribly pale. It was clear to see that she had hurt her tail. Alfonso got busy and cleaned up the cut. Then, using his coat, he bandaged it up. The cat was so glad, so grateful and happy, but Alfonso's new coat was now looking quite petty. He clip-clopped along through the crisp winter's day. He was whistling a song when a hen came his way. The hen was upset. She had lost one of her chicks. Might this be something Alfonso could fix? Together, the hen and Alfonso looked round, but the hen's little chick just couldn't be found. From somewhere up high, a voice cried, Help me! And there was the chick stuck up in a tree. So Alfonso removed even more of his coat and tied it together to make a long rope. He climbed up the tree just as fast as a rocket, and then he came down with the chick in his pocket. Alfonso's new coat was now looking a mess. Still, what's done is done. It was all for the best. As Alfonso walked on, there were more problems still, but he helped solve them all with his coat and his skills. Alfonso's new coat was now just a few threads, but he smiled as he thought of his good deeds instead. The weather grew colder, snow fell all around. Poor coatless Alfonso trudged back towards town. The blizzard grew worse. It got colder and colder. Alfonso took shelter behind a large boulder. Alfonso was freezing and night would soon fall, so there he curled up in a cold little ball. But then he heard voices ring out through the night. Someone was shining a welcoming light. He spotted the frogs and the cat and the hen. He wasn't alone, he'd be found by his friends. Seeing them all made Alfonso feel better. And not only that, 
They had brought him a sweater. They had made it themselves from the things they could find. A gift to Alfonso for being so kind. And so our dear goat had made best friends forever. And he wore his new sweater, whatever the weather. The end. Well, Alfonso is a kind goat indeed, don't you think? He was willing to part with his treasured possession to save the day and never regret. Alfonso taught us that kindness is the best recipe for happiness. That's all for now. Give your like, subscribe, share, and be kind. Thank you for watching.